Hi everyone, I am Kanchan Sharma from Impact Learning Classes. Today we are going to discuss about different range of thallus organization in LD. What is the range of thallus organization? LD can be seen in different different shapes, in different different sizes, in different different structures and different different thallus organization. So in this video we are going to discuss about all of these things. Algae can be seen as unicellular to multicellular. It can be filamentous and it can be parenchymatous as well as it uh, can lie as a synobium also. So here we are going to discuss all of these organizations which are found in algae. So friends, let's talk about the size of algal colony and algae uh, which are found. So first of all, the size of chlorella is 0.5 micron which is very small in size and uh, Clemadomonas is found in 20 to 30 micron size. Volvox is found 0.5 uh, mm. Eulothrix is uh, have Eulothrix have the size of 20 to uh, 10 to 20 centimeter. Then next is Cara. Cara is 20 to 30 centimeter in size and Necrocystis is 15 to 20 meter which is very large size and uh, last is Macrocystis which is uh, found in 100 to 180, uh, 180 meter in the size. Now friends we will discuss about different forms in which algae is found. So algae is found in various kind of forms. You can see here algae can be unicellular like algae is a unicellular uh, algae are, uh, can be kept in this uh, type and in this we can have the filamentous algae and the uh, and the non filamentous algae which are non motile we can keep all these algae in it next is aggregates aggregates are known as colony also here the shape size and number of the members of a colony is not definite next is synovial algae synovial algae is also like a colony but here the number shape size and polarity of the colony is determined like there will be a definite number there will be a definite shape of the colony and it will be polar also next is filamentous algae filamentous algae are the algae which are uh, like a a longitudinal filament and it can be branched and it can be unbranched also lastly we have pseudo parenchymatous and parenchymatous pseudo parenchymatous are uh, not having true cellular differentiation but the uh, parenchymatous algae have the true cellular difference we are going to discuss about the unicellular forms unicellular forms are found in almost all the classes of algae except Pheophyce members and Charophyce members. It is found in all the other classes of algae. So it is very important question that in which classes the unicellular form of algae are not found. So answer is members of Pheophyce and members of Charophyce. In these two classes the unicellular forms of algae are not found. The unicellular forms of algae are further divided in several types. The first type is amoeboid or rhizopodial type. Amoeboid and rhizopodial type uh, algae uh, do, are, uh, uh, they look like amoeba. They do not have true cell wall as well as they uh, do not have a typical uh, shape. They are, uh, their shape is, uh, you know, changeable. The, their shape can be changed easily just like amoeba their shape is not stagnant okay so example of it are chris amoeba and rhizocrisis these belong to the amoeboid form of algae next form are flagellated form in flagellated form flagella are present like in clemidomonas two flagella are present on the anterior side and second one is euglena. In euglena also flagella are present. So such kind of algae are motile. Last form in the unicellular type of algae is the non-flagellated type of algae. Example of such kind of algae is chlorella. This is the structure of chlorella. It is cocoid or rounded structure. It's, it's a cell wall and it have a cup, shape, a cup shaped chloroplast in it. And uh, second in uh, the non-flagellated the example is Clostridium. Clostridium is uh, cylindrical in shape you can see here. Both of them do not have any flagella in them. So they are non-motile 
and uh, they cannot move from one place to another. In aggregate form of algae, we can see the algae in palmyloid stage as well as we can see the algae as dendroid form. What is the palmyloid stage? Uh, palmyloid stage uh, can be seen in uh, these classes of the algae that is cyanophyce, blue green algae as well as in chlorophyce, members of chlorophyce. So Clemidomonas is one such example. Clemidomonas is also found in this palmyloid stage. A part of a tetraspora is also one such kind of algae. In uh, such type of form, the uh, as I just told you that aggregate is also known as colony. In aggregates, the shape, size and number of the colony is not definite. There can be random number of uh, the individual. So what they do, uh, they make a spherical structure of mucilage and in this spherical structure of mucilage, several clemidomonas are present here. These clemidomonas are individual entity. They can divide uh, themselves and why they are here in this palmyloid stage, they are here to withstand uh, uh, with the unfavorable conditions. Like if the conditions are unfavorable, then uh, clemidomonas make a colony uh, 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 and uh, it gets surrounded by the mucilage and it save itself against the dry condition or drought conditions. So uh, this is the palmyloid stage. Next stage, uh, next type of aggregate colony we can see as dendroid colony. Dendroid term means uh, anything which uh, resemble to a tree. So the member of uh, these aggregates, uh, they arrange in the shape of a tree. Just like this, the, uh, there are several individual which arrange themselves in the shape of a tree. So such uh, in such kind of colonies, we can see the polarity also as well as each individual is arranged uh, in such a pattern that they are making a tree or miniature tree form. Example of uh, such type of aggregates is chrysophyce, members of chrysophyce as well as members of cyanophyce and chlorophyce. So now friends, we will talk about the synovial form of algae. What uh, synovial form are also uh, the colonial forms in which the number of the individual is determined and the shape of the colony is also determined as well as the synovia has always polarity in it. In synovia, the shape is always same in all the individual. Like before this, we studied about aggregates. In aggregates, the shape uh, the shape may differ in different different individual. But here in synovia, the shape will be same in different different individual. So here, uh, the synovial colony are of two types. First is motile, and second one is non motile. First, we will discuss about the non motile forms or non motile synovia. The example of non-motile synovia are synodesmus, which is arranged linearly. Here, four to five cells are arranged like this. These are the spines of this algae. These are spines. Chloroplast is present in it. In this algae, chloroplast is present in it. And nucleus is also present. Next example is pediastrum. Pediastrum look like a plate. The individual of uh, pediastrum arrange in such a shape that they look like a plate. So here you can see that it is resembling like a plate. These are different different individual of it which has arranged like a plate. The third one is reticulate arrangement. Reticulate arrangement uh, example of it is hydrodiction. In hydrodiction, the members are arranged in such a way. I am drawing the diagram. Here you can see, like the next individual will start from here. They look like a network. So they are known as reticulate. So these are the individual of hydrodiction which arrange like a network. So uh, this is known as reticulate type of arrangement. Motile synovia, the uh, colony or the individual of the colony were not having uh, flagella. So they were non-motile. But here uh, in the motile synovia, the colony or the individual of the colony are having flagella in it. And with the help of flagella, they can move from one place to another place. So here are different example of the motile synovia. First is Pandorina. Pandorina uh, looks like uh, a round structure. So all the cells arrange like this and they uh, these cells are having flagella 
and with the help of flagella they can move from one place to another so uh, eudorina and panda uh, pandorina they look like this like they are rounded structure and they are having flagella so they can move from one place to another on the other hand if we see the example of volvox volvox always look like a rolling ball and in this a uh, definite number of individuals are arranged and these definite number of individual they connect with each other with the help of protoplasmic strands so here i am drawing the protoplasmic strand with the help of these strands they are connected with each other okay and uh, the outermost individual of the colony they form flagella on the outer side these are the flagella that i am drawing and with the help of flagella they move from one place to another they perform in the algae is filamentous type of algae filamentous type of algae is are multicellular uh they uh, are not like unicellular they have many uh, cells in them and uh, these are arranged linearly and uh, they do somatic division and with the help of somatic division they divide but they do not get separated from each other so a filament like structure is formed in these algae so uh, on the basis of filamentous algae these, there are two types one is uh, one is unbranched type of filamentous algae and second is branched type of filamentous algae the unbranched uh, filamentous algae is example are oscillatoria eulothrix odogonium these all uh, algae uh, what happens their apical cell it get divided when the apical cell get divided it do not get separated from it and uh, later on it get uh, it uh, it have more division in it and in such a way a linear filament is formed this linear filament do not have any kind of branching any kind of lateral branching so these are unbranched type of uh, algae in oscillatoria the apical cell found in different different shape and uh, in uh, eulothrix and odogonium the basal cell is known as uh, the hold fast it never divides where the apical cell divides again and again okay next type of uh, algae is uh, branch type of algae in branch type of algae there are two type of branching we can see in algae first is simple branching and second one branching is uh, the special type of branching in which the prostate uh, system and the erect system can be found this type of branching is known as heterotrichous type of branching in uh, the example of simple type of branching is cladophora in cladophora what happens normal filament is uh, filament is here in normal filament the dichotomy is found like from one filament it will divide in two then this filament will also divide in two parts in such a way dichotomy will be found so this is very simple type of branching second one uh, uh, branching is known as heterotrichous type of branching in heterotrichous uh, type of branching ectocarpus is example of heterotrichous type of branching in this the lateral branches emerge but they they are very specified like like uh, some lateral branches uh, will form only the prostate portion of the algae and some uh, type of uh, lateral branches will form only the erect uh, system of the algae parenchymatous form and parenchymatous form is further divided in two forms first is pseudo parenchymatous and uh, another is the true parenchymatous cells in pseudo parenchymatous cells uh, the apical cell of the thallus it get divided again and again and it makes the parenchymatous uh, cells which look like parenchymatous but they are not true where the uh, we use this term pseudo it means which is not true or false so here the parenchymatous cells are not true they are false parenchymatous cells where on the other hand uh, we have true parenchymatous cells uh, in which from the initial stage uh, the tissue differentiation can be seen easily example of true parenchyma is alva and porphyra in alva and porphyra we can easily see uh, some tissues arranging in the middle some tissues arranging on the outer layer and they are making epidermis some are making cortex and some are making the vascular strand like structure where in these examples like polysiphonia nemaleon in these uh, the parenchymatous cells are present but they are not differentiated from the initial stage of the tissue okay so uh, friends this was all about uh, the different type of forms which are found in algae these were the thallus organization which are found in algae if you find this video helpful please do like share and subscribe to our channel i am kanchan sharma and i thank you so much